Is there life after death? The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death. I was listening to a song called Who Am I by Casting Crowns and I thought about this one sentence in the lyrics. Who am I that the eyes that see my sin would look on me with love and watch me rise again? Have you sinned? Made a serious transgression in your life that ruined your marriage, finances, health, relationships, and the opportunity for a great life. You feel like you want to give up or give in because it's just too hard to make it back in life. If you did, then there is a way to come back from those serious or disastrous things that you've done or others have done to you. Hello, this is Jason. Thanks for joining from Good to Great Academy, where I talk about how you can unleash your soul for peak performance that can help you turn your life, career, or business around. From crisis to comeback and from good to great. Check out and download an excerpt from my book. There is a scripture that says that God can't look upon sin. It comes from the book of Habakkuk 1.13, where the author says to God, Your eyes are too pure to look upon our iniquity or evil. So many people have felt this way in their hearts and have shunned God only because they believe His eyes are too pure to look upon our mistakes or the immoral things that we have done that have hurt God, others, and ourselves. Some people think or tell themselves, God can't look at me. I've done too many things wrong in my life, and we don't want to know that we are bad or worse, evil. That is why so many people hang around people who carry the same baggage or type of sin. They know that they won't be judged by people who made the same sin or mistakes in life. Misery does love company. But the way to turn your life around is to look upon your sin and be sorrowful about it and change your life for the better. You can't ignore a stain on your clothing or poop that you stepped in. You only carry it with you to the next place you go. Others can see the stain or smell the poop, but the person, once they get used to it, doesn't notice the stain or the smell anymore. Someone in your life that cares about you might bring it up, and instead of cleaning the mess, you get angry that they brought it up, and you want them to mind their own business. Granted, there are people who like to bring up other people's mistakes so they can feel better about themselves. Even then, looking at ourselves in the mirror and changing our own hearts for the better is good for our souls in the long run. God does see or look upon our sin. We will all one day stand before Him and be judged. Think about it like a father. A good father doesn't want to see his children sinning, so he turns his face away. When you love someone, you don't want to see them when they are doing something terribly morally wrong. You want them to turn away from the bad things in their life and change. Sin hurts you and those around you. If you want a great life, dealing with your sin is necessary. Here are some tips on what you can do. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. This means to be truly sorrowful in your heart and turn away from the sin. Then believe that Yeshua, Jesus, died for your sins and has made you clean and whole again. Doing this will transform your soul and you'll grow in ways that you didn't know was possible. That's basically it. Now the challenging part is to keep your mind and your heart on the wholesome and good things in life and stay away from the things that have tempted you and led you astray. For some, it will be very difficult, but keep working on it. Every day, His mercies are new. Oh, and to answer the question, is there life after death? My answer is yes, I believe there is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.